Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do artwork inspired by Smeagol. Here's his Instagram. He's a really talented artist. He does these kind of cartoony like line art. They're a bit messy. You can kind of see the brush strokes. Uh, he does them for rappers like underground rappers. If you have trouble doing the actual sketch inside of it, then I might do another video on that. Just let me know, drop some likes and let me know in the comments that that is what you want. Um, but there's only so many like mouth positions and eye positions that you need to learn. It's not actually that hard to learn how to do the basic sketch. This video is going to be showing you how I took my sketch and did like lines over it and just developed it into the final piece. So without further ado, let's go straight into it. I'm a fuck up my life. so welcome back to the video do you like my new intro let me know down below um so what you start off with when you're trying to create some kind of cartoon artwork like this is you want to have your sketch ready like i said at the start drop some likes and drop some comments letting me know if you need help sketching but if not this will be useful from that point onwards which is where you go over your sketch using a brush i use a drawing tablet now I use the whack on bamboo. You guys always ask. Uh, I'm gonna make a bat like I'm gonna make a drawing tablet um, kind of recommendations video soon uh, for like all different price brackets. But yeah, I use a really outdated one. It does the job to be honest. As long as you're comfortable holding the um, stylus pen and just kind of sketching, just spend a bit of time practicing on Photoshop on a blank document, just drawing people's faces or whatever. Um, and yeah, you really just want to get comfortable with the brush and go over. I just use a completely default brush on Photoshop. It's maximum hardness uh, with the pen pressure on so that when I push hard on my Wacom, it like makes the brush thicker type thing. That makes sketching super easy. Uh, and then I'm pretty much going around my sketch that I've already drawn on paper, but just like refining it, changing some bits, making it a little bit smoother, uh, getting ready for the pen tooling that I'm going to do. And then after that, you're going to start adding colouring. It's all in this speed up. I'm going to start bringing you guys more speed ups. I know you guys quite like them. Uh, I know like real time tutorials are better. Obviously, they're a lot harder for me to make. So I usually drop a speed up. And if you guys feel that I need to go into further detail, then I will drop the real tutorial. After this, guys, I've already announced it on my Instagram. Make sure you follow my Instagram if you don't already. But I've announced that I'm doing a how to make artwork like Astro. I'm going to be doing the cartoon tutorial for that style, uh, kind of merging it with real life imagery, which I think is pretty sick, which is why I want to give it a go myself. So here I'm just using the pen tool to like block color. I'm on the layer underneath the brush and I'm just filling everything with colour so that I can get like a rough reference. At the moment there's just one shade, there's no lighting, um, there's no shades to the colour. It's just so I kind of know what I'm drawing and it all pops out. The background keeps changing throughout this. It's kind of good to have a rough idea what your background's going to be to start off with so that you can like adjust the lighting of the character to suit the background. I didn't do that in this case, but my background ended up working anyway. It was just black and white. If you guys struggle using the pen tool, I've actually got a pen tool game up on my channel that will help you learn it. So you can go and find that just by typing in pen tool game or just searching through my channel. You'll find it quite easily. Uh, it just kind of, I don't know, I think it's quite a fun way of learning the pen tool. So normally I do this in a really refined way using just the pen tool and making smooth edges and stuff but as you probably noticed with Smeagol's artwork you can kind of see the brush strokes it's all like it looks very hand drawn I don't actually know how he does it but it looks very hand drawn which is why I wanted to go for that kind of scratchy effect. Now I don't think there's too much more for me to say. You guys need to let me know what areas you struggle with because I'm not sure what to teach. It's pretty much just keep doing different layers where you add the sketch and then the um, kind of line art over the top, then put the colours underneath, then start drawing over the top, doing some lighting, some shadows, uh, and your piece should just come together. If you're struggling with any like individual bits, just kind of break down what you're struggling with and just keep practicing that one area. Um, and yeah guys if you do need any help or want to talk to me then you can always join my discord there's a bunch of people in there we just kind of like share graphics and stuff it's quite a cool community so that'll be pinned in the top comment anyway guys that is all for this video another video is coming very soon the astro one next few days probably um, enjoy the rest of this speed up and that is me out peace
fuck up my life